Have you noticed how sharply the polls have shifted in Trump's favor over the last couple of weeks? With these claims that Trump is surging with black and Latino voters and leading in every single swing state, according to secret internal polls, despite all the Hitler talk. Despite all the Hitler talk. Uh, these, are the, <laughs> these are the same people that are telling you, hey, you need to calm down. Your rhetoric is, is, is inflammatory. But, uh, hey, 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 hey. Despite all the Hitler talk. <laughs> like, oh. Hey, by the way, MSNBC plays to the clo to the lowest common denominator, the dumbest people in the electorate. That's who they play to. But <laughs> get a load of this. Yes. This race will be far too close because, unfortunately, we do have a fascist groundswell in parts of this country, mainly among white men. Let's be clear. You see, once again, it's those dastardly, dastardly white men. Now, when those very same white guys were voting for Barack Hussein Obama, they weren't fascist. They only became fascists when they started voting for Donald Trump. But in small pockets among black and brown men, too. This happens to be a global phenomenon. Um, so the fascists, although largely white, there are small pockets <laughs> across the country there's you know, black and Latinos, and, and they're fascists too. As women become more economically independent and seek positions of power. So the rise in fascism is because women are now economically independent. Okay. Um, so I give you, uh, fascist number one. As a black woman, I've never been more proud than to see us taking our votes back from the ungrateful Democratic Party. That's fascist. <laughs> that was fascist number one. Uh, here's fascist number two. I want Barack Obama and every Democrat out there to know you do not own black people. We are not slaves. Our chains are gone. We do not owe you anything. And we don't have to give you an account for how we choose to vote. That's fascist. <laughs> That's fascist number two. Now, this is fascist number three. Now, this guy is just completely unhinged. He, he can't. He, you got to get a, get, get a grip. Oh, 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 you, you got to calm down. We've got to reach those ridiculous, crazy black men that did vote for Trump. So let me get this straight. If I vote for a party that can't define what a woman is, I'm no longer ridiculous or crazy. If I vote for a party that wants boys in my daughter's sports and restrooms, I'm no longer ridiculous or crazy. If I vote for a party that thinks they can pander to me using kente cloths and hot sauce, I'm no longer crazy. If I vote for a party that has done nothing but destroy my community for the last 60 years and open the borders in order to replace my vote and destroy my community further, I'm no longer crazy. Crazy. If I vote for the party that wanted to keep me from voting, wanted to keep Jim Crow, wanted to keep slavery, the party of the Klan, I'm no longer crazy. And I'm no longer crazy or ridiculous if I vote for the candidate who's been in the office as vice president for the last three and a half years and admitted to having a large part in pushing the harmful policies that have hurt my country, who can't answer basic questions and is quite possibly the worst candidate in American history, says she's going to bring change while at the same time admitting there's nothing she'd change about the last three and a half years and made us the laughing stock of the world. And you think I'm the crazy one. I think it's crazy you think I should vote for a candidate based on skin color rather than how their policies will affect my life. It's pretty sick. Um, that guy, he needed to calm down. That guy was unhinged. He, he, he didn't have any coherent things to say. 
That's those are the fascists that Joy Reid is trying to warn, warn, warn you of. <laughs> See that here's here's the thing. They know there's I, I I've said it several times now. Okay, there's no pathway forward where she wins, and they're desperate right now. And so now. You, you would think that if you really wanted to curry favor, if, if you really wanted to come across as, I, I don't know, sympathetic to, to, to a different person's plight, you wouldn't call them fascist. <laughs> if, if you're Joy Reid, if you're trying to, I don't know, persuade someone to see the world the way you see it, you would probably not call them racist misogynistic the, 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 the groundswell is predominantly white but there are small pockets of black and browns too these people are unhinged man and by the way it's not going to stop it's it's only going to intensify now some of you are probably thinking i don't care Stu. as long as we get to november 5th i'm perfectly fine with it if you think it's going to stop once he wins you haven't seen anything yet you think that she's unhinged now you you think that all of these never trumpers are unhinged now they're going to be coming out of the woodwork the Joe Scarboroughs, the 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 Rachel Maddows, the the Joy Reeds, the they're gonna be coming tooth and nail once Donald Trump wins. If you think November fifth is your goal, you're not seeing this the right way. I know I have this thing up there, eighteen days until. Trust me, that's just don't look at that as the end goal. Looking, look at that as a starting point. Because trust me, that's when the work is really going to get started. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.